Alrighty, so today we're going to be doing a VOD review for Walnut Yellow. Uh, he's in this Discord server that I am in. I was looking for some coaching, so I thought that I would uh, drop my two cents in uh, and get a video done for him. So whenever he wants to look back at it, he can. Um, so he's going to be playing Damba on Frog Isle in a ranked match. So uh, we're not going to really focus too much on his teammates, solely on his performance, what he's building and things like that. And yeah, so... Um, when it comes to picking talents, uh, the two you should be picking as a solo healer uh, should be Ripen Gourd or Spirits Chosen. When it comes to picking one of those talents, Ripen Gourd will usually be taken in a comp that, if you're playing a comp that's going to heavily rely on playing slow. Uh, the reasoning for that is because if if your team's just going to hold areas, the Gourd is going to get a, a lot more value. Uh, but if your team's going to be constantly trying to walk up and do a aggressive things, Spirits Chosen will just be better uh, because your Gourd will... It'll, it'll be a lot harder to get value out of Gord when they're constantly moving up, right? So I expect you to probably play Spirits Chosen here because it is the safest pick, as well as it is, right now, I guess, considered the best talent. So I really want to see the build here. Actually, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. So, okay. Ooh, gee, you were quick. Jeez, I'm trying to... Right, so I uh, just look at it from this way. So, um, Eri 4, DR 5, 4. Okay, so looking at the comps they have, they really don't have any crazy burst damage other than the Atlas. Um, so, uh, honestly, you could probably lower down uh, your DR a little bit and put a little bit more into speed. Um, yeah, so I would probably switch the, the values here. The rest of the build is pretty standard, doesn't matter, but always keep that in mind. Um, I think DR 4 is plenty. Um, the only time I would I would ever really say run five is if you're running against a sniper. Alrighty, so talking about buys real quick, you should be buying Chronos. Honestly, you, you you do have the ability to buy other things, but I wouldn't reason for that is because um you want as you want you want to rush Chronos as quickly as possible because once you get Chronos three online as Damba, you're going to be putting out a lot of healing, um as well as nimble on this map is also not really the most important because you can usually just see everybody in front of you without having to rotate um so i wouldn't really invest in nimble unless you really had to uh, so right now i would just only invest in the chronos and that's it i'll save my points to rush chronos i'm gonna skip forward so we get into the actual gameplay we get to see everybody's talents real quick so deja ages we look at that everybody look at this uh, like you said, Tremor is a little weird. He could be baiting, but you never know. So what I so what I would probably do here is I would probably throw Gordon main right away, and then just uh, just hard pocket the right lane uh, with your um, your right click. The uh, reasoning for that is because Anara should passively beat the Nando, and with the Gord and her damage, she should get ahead. Um, when it comes to health wise um, on the Nando, so Nando will put up a shield and while Nando shield is up He won't be doing a lot of damage. So with that being said you can give her the gourd focus on the off lane and then Once the gourd comes back up you can look back at the Inara and get her back to full yeah. Your Gordon off lane which is equally as equally fine Good so one thing I wanna I wanna express now is I want to I'm I'm hoping that you are going to be using uh the walls to jump peak. Um that is one of the best things you can do here as Dama because it limits the amount of time the enemy can punish you. Since you can see your teammates through the wall, you can line up your heal through the wall, jump and heal. So right there I would probably would have saved your gourd uh for a tank. You could have probably just quickly right clicked um the willow. And it's through the gourd. As you can see, he fluttered away, right? So he... Yeah, so like right here, you're like sitting really, really heavily in the window. And any good DPS will stop looking at point and put like three bursts into you, uh, since you're just heavily peeking window so much. And what that does to you is it it, it, it makes it so that you can't peek anymore, right? So you you, you want to make sure that your 
you're making it so that there's not a lot of opportunities that people can one figure out where you're at and two punish you for over peaking so there you go the same way that you're using that jump to to peak that victor you can jump to peak your your tanks And when you call to back up, I know that you're, I think you're probably playing with him. Tell him where to back up, because uh, that backup could be anything, right? Let's say it's not safe for him here, and you're telling him to back up. It's like, what are you telling him to back up here? You know, it's like, you could tell him to back up. Back up, back up to point, back up to, to fra. you know? Uh, when you're making calls, especially to people that you're playing with, try to be a little more specific so that it makes it easier for them. Your job as a support is to make everybody's life easier. Good heal, good Gordon. I would like to see you left clicking more. Um, a lot of Dambas, you'll see them spam stuns and stuff like that. Uh, uh, left clicking as Damba is actually pretty, uh, pretty good. He does a good amount of damage. His shots aren't that hard to hit. Um, and even if you're just spamming the Nando shield when you have downtime, it's just just try to get shots out. It helps you build ult charge, and every bit of damage you do is going to give your team that much an, of an advantage. Oop, you dropped down from window. You really didn't have a reason to drop down from window there. I would back up a little bit. You hear the roar going to your right. You got to be aware of that. You are aware of that. That is good. Don hits an ult here. Right now, you're, you're walking really close to the point here. Roar is still in your back. She's probably killing your backliner. So you keep an eye on. Yep, she is. Vora should get first touch here. So I'd honestly be ready to to escape. And there she is. But they didn't get touch here. But I didn't really like your positioning that much. I probably would have stayed a little bit closer to danger. The reason is because your escape would have been a lot easier than trying to escape from stage. If you don't know where danger is, danger is this little area over here. Danger um, down here in, in, in the, uh, this area here. Like underneath you call that pit. Uh, like the, the mid of the, the trees would be jungle. Um, this over here is windows, and then you, well, window, and then you got, you know, stage over here, point, main, uh, things like that. It is good quality. So, um, now that you have fear, let's talk about fear real quick. Um, looking at the enemy team comp, obviously fear is a stun, um, so you can use it on anybody. Uh, but who would it be most value on? Um, people like Vo Vora can avoid it pretty easily. Um, Atlas has a chance to avoid it, uh, but he is using a uh, small shield. So, honestly, everybody here except um, uh, these two are... So, these are going to be your easiest uh, ult targets. So you can either use your ult to drop Nando shield. You can use your ult to force Atlas away from his shield by throwing it behind, like behind him while he's on, like in front of his shield. Um, it'll force him forward, putting him in front of his shield, making him vulnerable. You can also just throw it at the victor to stop him from peeking. Um, you could hit these two as well if they don't have cooldowns. For example, if Ceres doesn't have her her shadow travel anymore, you could use it not only stopping her from healing but maybe making her vulnerable. And if Vora dives, um, you can ult Devora, but make sure that she doesn't have her, her ability because she can just bait it out by diving you and then you try to fear her and she just slams. Well, you fear that? This is really good. So there? Nice. That was a good ult. So stacking is not always bad. Um, it just depends what you're getting out of it. <clears throat> because at, at, at the end of the day, like, it's not always a bad idea to stack. Let's see, like, is, is see how much space you're taking. It's not that bad because your DPS can kind of deal with the Atlas in the offlane if they really have to. Now, constantly rotating back. I don't know if y'all were talking about the Victor being suspicious, but he 
If he was hacking, he would have killed you there. Uh, no need to slither there. <clears throat> Could have rotated a lot without slithering. Um, and if you are going to be use uh your if you're going to use your slither to rotate, I would suggest running the card. Uh, I think it's called fleeting. Basically, it reduces your slither cooldown by half a second. Um, and a lot of people they use slither to rotate and they don't really they don't admit it. But fleeting is a really good card if you are somebody who likes to use it to rotate. on card i would uh i would keep pop even even people who aren't like when they don't need healing like like in downtime it's really good to pocket people because you give them bonus speed right and a willow in the air with with a speed buff is really scary right so don't be afraid to to pocket people even when they're full i don't know if you were purposely attempting it but if you were attempting to kill the the, the victor before he got to the con that would have been huge because Khan gets a pull off, and you would have saved him ult charge. Because as long as you kill him before he gets to the Khan, it won't count as a full grab. So that could have been a huge play. I don't know if you were looking for it, but we're going to give you that. We're going to give it to you that you were. So I'm not a big fan of this positioning because, as you can see, if they control this area here, you'll be able to peek. Compared to if you're playing over here somewhere, um, you will be able to peek pretty easily without being in direct contact with the victor. Most DPS uh, will play from here, so that's the thing on my screen. So yeah, so not a big fan of this positioning here. Okay, so on the point look for a stun or just start spamming point. You should yeah, the card's not going in. You should know somebody's on. Damn. Alrighty, so it is 2-0, and you have your ult. So you should be you should be thinking about how you're gonna ult here, right? Um, does Nando? So right now, if we're thinking, I haven't heard Nando ult, right? So Nando has ult, right? Um, Atlas has ult. Um, and everybody should have ult. I'm pretty sure on their team. I don't think anybody has used it in that end fight. So, um. If you ult the Nando, right, you can probably force out um, his ult, which after Anara can punish him with her ult, right? So you can just double ult the Nando and kill him. And you basically win for free. Or you can look for a ult into the off lane um, to try to give your off lane more of, of an advantage. Um, but looking at both comps, in our reality, I feel like the off lanes are pretty even. Uh, but when it comes to the backline DPS, I feel like the Victor and the Nando are probably doing a lot better than the Willow and the Inara. So maybe you want to put a little more focus into the mid lane because I, I feel like they just need that little bit of help just to push them ahead. So you got Kronos 2, and you have uh, Haven 1 with Nimble 1. One that's 450 points, I think. Uh, and you have, so you would have had six, seventy. You would have almost been at Chronos three already if you would have saved your points, right? So I don't really think you need you need these right now. So I would be looking for an early early ult in mid, like honestly, insta ult mid as soon as you get there. That's what I would be looking for. Just ult the, the second Nando puts a shield up, you ult him. Throw Gordon point. Look at Nando, spam, spam, spam. Once you see shield, you look for an ult here. Look at the Nando. Look at the Nando. Look at the Nando. Nando shields. Look for an ult on Nando. Right there, you could have heavily punished the Nando because he would his shield would have got dropped. He wouldn't he wouldn't be able to control his movements. You have a Nara and a Willow shooting at him. He would have insta died. I don't think I don't even know if he has Brazil. That kind of thing too. Um, especially between rounds, try to check and make sure. Uh, see who has Brazil and who doesn't. Right. Because that will also influence your decision on who to fear. Uh, it is never a bad idea to fear Nando out of shield. Because, especially with Aegis, his shield will be up forever. So pulling him out of shield will give your team uh, an advantage. And even if it's a 4 second window, it doesn't matter. 4 seconds is a long time to get damage in. So, right here, you're holding on to your ult. You fear the Vora. It might just live here. Yeah. So, you you fear the Vora, but 
doesn't really do much. Your team still, you know, they oh they they're they're winning. They're they're still capping points. This is good. I wouldn't have slithered there. You don't know where Vor is at. You just like you just got rid of your only escape. Thankfully, you have somebody who can peel for you, but you still might get dove. You're walking through mid. Uh, this is a big no-no. You don't chase people to heal them. Um, they need to get into your LOS. If you're running across a whole field to heal this Willow, that Victor is going to rip you to shreds. Of course, you still there to chase a Willow. By the time you get to her, she heals out of combat. And now you're in a really bad position. Now you have to run away. Now they should be looking at you because you're in a bad spot. Of course, you still there to get out, and you lose your Inara because you were too busy chasing a Willow. Too sure how much that helped. So now you know Alice is to your right, so he can pressure you whenever he wants. Uh, right now, your main focus should be on keeping the Anara alive so that she's able to contest. Anara doesn't want to pick you right now. You get frozen, unfortunate. You get frozen again. Huge, huge ult by the Atlas. Keep spam, spam. You need to get your ult. For damage onto the Nando. Look for damage. Look, you need to get your ult. You can win this with your ult. How are you holding on, man? man. Nar should be back. Oh, but she, did she get knocked? She got knocked off, apparently. Dude, Nar, you have one fucking job. Nah, she got HP. Why you got relaunched? Damn. Yeah, like, and that you could have won that simply by just holding left click on a tank. Just like you gotta do more damage and build that ult because your ult wins that fight. So now you got two minutes left, your whole team's up. I'd be looking for an ult, especially down mid. I'm um, trying to just create space, uh, create an opportunity for your team to make something happen. <clears throat> looks for an ult. It's 100% caught, unfortunate. Good ult. Even if he, he, he didn't have the best information on it, but I don't care. Like, the fact they're using your ult's good. Good ult. You have enough time to build up another one too, so. Walk forward. Right now you should be telling your, your team to walk forward. Especially since you're communicating with Khan. Want to take space here. Want to have somebody playing uh, a little bit near the off lane. be fine she, nobody should have got back and if you don't like if you want to like check real quick you don't need to turn just look at this if is if it's going this way somebody's pushing if it's not somebody's not you know just check it every like every five seconds it wait for cotton to get out of caught give her give her oh i wouldn't give her a gourd because she's it's like seems like seems to be prone not to uh Stand in it. You can walk out of this. You don't need to sit there. Oh, never mind. I said there was fine. They were pretty close. I back up here. There's no reason to stand here. You're gonna get killed. That's gonna be pure chaos here.
those two one, you don't really have to use an ult here, uh, especially since uh, it going to two two is not a big deal. Yeah, you're down two. Don't use ult here. I mean, yeah. Everybody got staggered. Don't fear. Don't fear. There's. You are down. You're, you're, you were still down people. I think Tiberius just respawned. And your Khan is super low. So basically Tiberius is still coming back. Khan's probably going to die here. Oh my goodness. And y'all. They stepped off. Alrighty. So you still got four ults. Uh, four ults here. So that's not. It's not that too bad to use your ult. But I, I, w I don't think I would have used uh, fear there. <laughs> so since you don't have ult at the beginning yeah talk about fear targets but you should be checking out what the enemy team is buying you need to know how much Brazil they have as a, per as a character who has a has a lot of cc you need to be see that they have none nobody has nobody has Brazil. We're on point early. This is nice. Khan tries to grab from way too far. We're on point. See how he comes to you? Because he knows it's not your responsibility to chase him. Then. I don't have to stay. I don't have to stay up. No, she can retouch. She can retouch. Um... Nara needs your help. Atlas in the back lane. Kashi with a block. Yeah, look at the Inara. Look at the Inara. She's your main form of contest right now. Heal the Inara. Why are you touching? Heal the Inara. No. No. That is a very. I'm glad that you noticed that. Inara is your your contest there. You got to keep her alive. I mean, y'all do have people to deal with Victor. You just got to get back to him. You know, you got to pressure him out. That gore to be huge here because everybody stacked up, but you are getting ear hold. Don't slither into the wall. Oh, you're lucky Khan grabbed them. Oh, he's still going to kill you. Oof, unfortunate. Um, obviously, this is a lot of you, so I, but uh, the more you play, you should you start to realize what um lines of sights on on the map there are so yeah i'm assuming you got a low level damba so you should understand that, that that is an los there i'd have thrown the gourd like not into the into the off lane so that everybody could have gotten it but good fear there Got a minute 30 left, so you, you will build another one. Willow has a gourd. He he heal your tanks right now. And take your time with your heal, you know? Okay, it, you know, it's okay to like to aim your heal. You don't always gotta be you, you don't always gotta instantly hit them. Actually, it might. Yeah, Willow's nuts. 
So you're backing up now. You're down one of your DPS. Oof. I don't know how that stun didn't hit. Uh, you should, yeah, you were going to die there no matter what anyway, so. Oh, you fear the victor. Yeah, that gets you a trade, but you're using an ult. There's no, there's no reason to use your ult there, because let's say you don't want, you guys can't hold on to this, which you, you won't. Right now, you don't have your ult for mid, right? It's 3-2. They're not going to win the game off this. It doesn't matter if they push it in, as long as you win the next mid, right? So... It's coming from the person who just ulted, it's like, four seconds ago. Willow can ask you the same question. Not fine, because y'all wasted two ults for a defense you didn't have to get. But now, instead of working with four ults, like last minute, you're working with three ults. Have to dive, Saris, or we lose. Bereavement is the only thing that keeps me here. Alrighty, so. Let's see, he, he can't even can't even ult him from that far. Even if he, he hits it, he it won't pull because he's too far. The position you're in is pretty cool here. I would have just stand on that block. Or hug this tree right here. Yeah, this is this is pretty okay. But Alex is going to walk at you. He knows he's he's like dip, dipping in and out of cover if I can. Yeah, he's the best player. Honestly, don't go for him then. Next time just get a guarantee for him. We lose if we don't pull victory. In all reality, you want to look for the most HP to throw off the board is Khan. Getting a tank on a map where tanks are super important is very is more value than a victor. You have found your way onto mid. You gotta be a little more aware when it comes to running away. Getting up near mid is never, never a good, uh, good thing. Honestly, you, you guys. Yeah, look. Look, Tiberius is spitting facts. Tiberius is spitting facts. You guys are holding on to the ult or looking for the perfect ult. Got okay, two minutes. Look for fear. Uh, Nando shields, anything. Victor was overextended. You, you got to kill. Walk forward. You have ults. Look for fear. Come on. Come on. Go forward. You guys are up one. You guys are up one. Spite, you guys should be in their spawn right now. Okay, so you got a minute 20 left. Using an ult here won't guarantee that you'll build it back, but you'll get pretty close depending on... Actually, I don't even know if you'll build it back because you don't left click enough. But if you ult and you left click, you will be able to build it back up. You got a minute 10 now, so ulting here is not the best. You probably want to just hold on to it. Unless you have to use it for defense. Honestly, using your ult here to help your team build, build up their ults could be value too. Like right here, your team is like losing this fight. So, like if you ult here to keep them alive so that you can win this fight, uh, it wouldn't be bad. Because they need to build their ults as well. Yep, Zanara. Yeah, so. Time. 
for you guys will have a contest here uh the ult that's probably not the most important or like the easiest to get value out of will probably be your ult here right so i'd probably be looking to use your ult here so your mid is huge yep there you go nice but we do you do lose your damage right away which is unfortunate you gotta get a trade you do get a trade which is good don't get pulled here big ward here make sure you're healing your con con should have shout here he should be okay Devora should be your number one priority right now. Spam Devora in your backline. Spam Devora in your backline. There you go. Look for a Gordon main. You have a Gord. You got to make sure you're healing your team. There you go. Okay, right here. Oh, that's 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 gonna be very huge in the in the sense of not having heals out. They're just going to stare at you right now. Yeah, throw a Gord. You got to heal yourself. Oof. That Gord you missed on the Inara was. Very, uh, very big for them. And the Vora, uh, your DPS weren't able to deal with the Vora. GG, man. Yes and no, because, yeah. Nara would have dropped on point and walled you off from the enemy team. That could have been winnable. But yeah, so I don't want to hear about them about complaining. Um, but yeah, so some big things that you need to work on. You need to be using. You need to be spam spamming your left click more. You got to be using your ult more proactive. Whether it's um, just to to get aggressive, help your team stabilize in a fight, and or just like creating advantages. Um, still fine. Uh, I would probably use so they're allowed to rotate, so I would add fleeting into your build. Um, what else? Well, uh, try to you, you got to be a little better with your hero rotations. Um, I feel like sometimes you just hard focus something too much, uh, and then things end up dying. DPS right clicks usually are enough for them. Try to save gourds for people who are standing still or tanks or even yourself. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, you need to be checking who has who's buying Brazil, who's not buying Brazil, and mm, yeah, I think I think those are like the big major points. Um, I just, I feel like you're not putting out enough damage to build your ult as fast, you know, as fast as you should be, and when you do have ult, you're holding it for way too long. Um, like I said, a good thing to do is when you get into games, you should kind of think about who will be the best ult for me uh, to be aggressive. So like you, you so you have a few ideas how how you can aggressive ult. Obviously, you know, defensive ults is just basically defending your teammates or defending yourself. And then uh, space ults, uh, if if they need to touch, you can ult the point, things like that. So uh, there's a few ways that you can use your ult. You should always be thinking about that. And uh, yeah, I mean, that that's the... Oh yeah, and as well as you rarely ever jumped uh, above the walls to get heals out and angles that you can't see through the main window. Um, that is a big thing you should be doing. Uh, mostly on Frog Isle. There's probably other maps where you can uh, benefit from doing jump heals, but uh, Frog Isle is a huge one. Uh, so yeah. Um, other than that, man, you played you played pretty all right. Um, you obviously have a feel down for how you could be playing Maldamba, uh, but there are little things that you could fix uh, and or do that could make you a even better Maldamba. Hopefully this helped. Hopefully I uh, gave you some info, and uh, yeah. Good luck, man.